sucks. I don't understand how you just can like not like video games. Wh what do you mean? You just you like zero video games, and then like Borderlands Three comes out and it's everything. Yeah, that and like Resident Evil Seven was really good. It, I just don't get it. Like, how can you just because because they're not good anymore? Because like when you have when you have everything in front of you, like when you have li like like it's like playing creative mode versus playing survival mode. Creative mode's fun for like. 20 minutes and then you're like oh i i'm i'm like a spoiled kid with mommy's credit card you just kai what are you kai you can't what are you doing you're locked kyle. up dude i'm not badly what do you mean no I'm kyle's twin kyle's twin yeah his evil twin stepbrother not evil i mean i wouldn't go around calling someone evil well i mean it's that one, one video what happened was in that one video which one? Oh, one of them. Kyle couldn't make it, so I just popped in. No, I think Kyle's been in all of our videos. Have you spoken to Kyle? No. He's your evil twin stepbrother. You don't... What are you doing in my house? What do you mean? What do you mean? This isn't your house. What do, you mean? Mean? what do I mean? Sit down, Bentley. How you been? Okay. You haven't spoken to Kyle whatsoever. No. You know, he got he got 25 to life twice. For what? For the cookie theft. So you stole those? No, no. I Kyle tried, got convicted. I tried going to back for Kyle. I tried to, to give a plea. I was, I was sitting there. I was, cr I was crying. You didn't really do that much if he's in jail. What are we going to do? Do you have any plan to get him out? Do you have any way to do anything about this? Nope. Do you have any interest in saving your, 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 your step twin brother? Nope. You want to make a drink? Sure. Cool. <laughs> what to do, shithead? Shrimp? Yeah? Yeah. You, uh, you ever notice how being alive fucking sucks? Yes. It's like, no matter how many eight balls I run through, or no matter how much I jerk off, it's just like, it just keeps getting worse. And worse. And worse! Yes. And it's like, it's like no matter how hard you try, like I paid it off. Like it's not like I didn't pay it. It's like I told her I was gonna pay it. Yes. And she's like, oh no, you have to get a real job. I'm like, I have a real job. And she's like, uh, going to yard sales and selling antiques on eBay isn't a real job. Yes. So yeah, I'm, I'm hanging out, we're talking back and forth, and I think it's going well. She's talking to me, I'm talking to her. She kind of like left her friends for a while, and she's just like, so... Do you like T-Girls? And I'm like, sure, fucking all of them. A, B, C, D, all letters of the alphabet. Well, nothing's gonna ever stop. Yes. It's just... Because it, it, you could... And if you just... Because, like, if, if you get your foot in the door, but if you don't have your baby, you just kind of fucking, like, in there, and then, like, a sock puppet, but not, like... Not entirely, but not, not that way. Like, you know what I mean? Like... It is, but it isn't because, like, it'd it be what it is, but it ain't what it do. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Alright, so all I'm saying is from 1932 to 1945, there's no evidence that nothing didn't happen on the moon. And if you're gonna hide anything, why would you not hide it on the fucking moon? Yes. So, all I'm saying is that Rob is S tier. And I don't care who you play, if you play Lucina, I don't care if you play Lucario, I don't care if you play Dr. Mario. Yes. You want to just get fucking wrecked? Yes. Good, because I have this cookbook with recipes for drinks in it. Hey, so we're going to have a lot of fun here today, but there is an important message that we want to convey to you guys. Drinking's not cool. People die all the time from alcohol, over indulgence of alcohol, and if you're not 21, you shouldn't drink. So don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. We're idiots that yell at each other on the internet. So we're <laughs> professionals. Mm -hmm. um, it's not cool. Don't yeah. do it. Don't feel pressure to ever drink. If you're still in school, don't drink just because all the cool kids are doing it. Trust me, all those kids that are drinking now are going to turn out to be losers anyway. So do I go get wasted? Absolutely. <laughs>
friend, what are you making? I am making Daddy O, also known as a Tequila Sunrise. So, this one's really easy. You can make it with your friends or your mom. What are you making with your mother? My mother loves tequila. Yeah, that's something you want to tell people. <laughs> Who doesn't love tequila? Uh, me. You're wrong. Okay. So, you take a fourth cup. Fourth. Oh. That is 60 milliliters in the UK. Uh, okay. I love the UK and whatever, but this, this is America. No, uh, I'm gonna say that. Of tequila. <laughs> what else are you throwing? You then have grapefruit juice. How much? Another 60 milliliters. Yeah. Yeah, it's not even open. Not even open. <laughs> Brand new. This is a this is a, a recipe by the one Victoria Rosenthal. Thank you, Victoria. So if you're watching, thanks a bunch. It's grapefruit juice. Grapefruit juice. Can I see the grapefruit juice? Yeah, you want to like. I just want to take a sniff. And we also have orange juice. You shake this. You're supposed to shake juice when you put the fucking lid on that and shake it. How old do you know how to shake juice? It's the first thing I learned how to shake the juice. Yeah. They shook the juice down when I arrested them. <laughs> <laughs> and then 60 milliliters of orange juice. I taste like it already had tequila. It had like something in it. It's because grapefruit is just bad. But it's good with other mixed things. So <laughs> there's our beautiful sunrise liquid. We're going to pour that in a glass. Oh, you're gonna make one for yourself? No, I'm gonna make another one. Sure. I don't have enough liquid. Well, here. why didn't you just make two then at that point? Oh, just make two quick right now. I believe Hold in you. And the Look at that. Look at that. We smell like ground I've never actually like had. It. Oh, isn't this just what do you call it? Um, uh, help me out, Bentley. Shirley Temple. Basically, yeah. There it is. In this beautiful glass. Look at that. Wow, that was really quick. <laughs> Yeah, it's super easy. So, I'm gonna make another one. That's good. Yeah, let yours chill. I'm really digging this long ice. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you haven't noticed yet, Bentley has given us long ice. So, I don't think I can ever go back to regular ice. Once you go long ice, you never go for <laughs> ice. <laughs> there it is. That's about half bad. I like how the long ice gives it like a garnish, too. You're not gonna... Hmm? Am I gonna, I'm gonna offer it to someone? Here. Uh, what, what should we toast to? Um, the apocalypse. I love tequila. Uh, I love tequila. Oh god, I fucking hate alcohol. No? No. No? No. Make him stop. What's up? I'll take a sip. It's actually not like super battery acid y. <laughs> I wish you could see Bethany's face. Coffee medicine. <laughs> yeah. Like, ugh, I don't know how to. It gets better when you're close to the end because you get the gravy. So then why not just mix it up? You could. I just like the gravy. It tastes like really bad orange juice. You might like that better. So much better. Oh my god. Mix that one up. I'll taste that. Hey guys, uh, Vin's here. Just want to point out real quick that uh, Olive has very little respect for her friends. She mixes up the drink and then goes to mix up the drink for Bentley. Uh, and if you take a look here, she puts her finger like all the knuckle deep right into the drink and then sucks upon her fucking finger and then thinks, oh, it's a good idea to put this same fucking thingy in the drink. All right, uh, back to the video. Okay. Let's wait. 
Got a spoon. A spoon, you trog. There's a little mixer. Yeah, where's the little baby mixer? Just a little butter on it. Just gonna add texture. You make a mess, buddy. How about you shut your fucking mouth? It's more fruity. It gets a little better. We need to make some simple syrup. So to start that off, we need one cup of. So how was it, Bentley? Do you want to talk about it at all? You sure? You, you know, you could tell me. I know it's hard. I can only imagine what kind of cost it is. Just, all right, just make your. You want a tootsie roll? All right. So what we got here? Uh, no, I know, but what, what is this? Sure. This is sugar. Yeah. You're sure. Yeah. You're so photogenic. So we need half a cup of blueberries. Recipe calls for blackberries as well, but I'm not really feeling blackberries. We're gonna blend them together. Let it rip. That's probably good. Yeah. We need to have some more. So what are we doing? Rinse them up. Yeah, I know. But I mean, like, how? Well, we have our simple syrup we okay. made earlier. Mm -hmm. We're going to split that with some lemon juice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make one blueberry and just one lemon. A little red lemon. Yeah. Juice. You got sugar? Sugar. Oh, it's all right. The simple syrup. God damn, it beat me. Actually, I'm just. You know, spoons were actually invented in uh, uh, 489 by Lord Spoonulus of uh, the Byzantine Empire. No? How much you add? Not too much split between the two. They used the whole thing? No, some of them. Some of them. So, you're not there. How much of that? The juice, we're gonna add one and a half cups of juice. Holy shit, one and a half of one? That's a lot of one. Of this water. Also, if you should taste it with some water too. To even out. Mm -hmm. Grab some blueberries. What are, your, what are your top five colors of all time? That's a beautiful color. My god. Oh, that's awesome. It looks like a potion for like something that would have potions. We didn't have a strainer, so we couldn't strain the chunks from it. I think that adds to the aesthetic. Yeah, no Who one in like Fallout would have a strainer anyway. Even if they did, they wouldn't know what it is. They'd probably think it's like a helmet. <laughs> and depending on how you like it, he can definitely. Add more water if we need to. Is it real sweet? Yeah. Add more water. Give it a good little stir. Use, yeah, 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 yeah. Clean that spoon. Give you you can add some more simple sugar. Is it good?
That is not half bad. Maybe some more shit, sure. sugar. You think so? A little bit. Is it too tart? I think it's fine the way it is. Stir it, stir it. Yeah. A little slow. We're right over the neck, so don't worry. I'm excited to try the blue one. That is not half bad. Give Here. me a new recipe sip. Not friggin' bad. Try that one. How's blueberry? Oh, I like this a lot. Isn't that great? How's the blueberry? I feel like that one's probably gonna need a little bit more sweet because the berries are tart. Can I go for a second? Yeah. That's really fucking stand out. I was wrong. It's really good. Yeah. Here. Give you know a what shot. that'd be really good with? Hmm. Honestly, you put a little Sprite in it. Yeah, a little fizz. A little yeah. bit of fizz to it. A little it. bit. Maybe add some Sprite. You want to try it? Sprite it up. Is it just Sprite too? I'm not getting a lot of Sprite. Can I see it? It tastes like Sprite too. I'm not getting a lot of Sprite. It's definitely more lemonade-y. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting the fizz. Yeah. I'm not. All right, buddy. It's your boy, alone and old. Uh, I don't drink, which is apparent from this. But the one thing I, I, I do really enjoy is eating. And the one drink that you can kind of... It's just a meal. It's just an excuse to eat more. Is a uh, Bloody Mary. So that's what I'm going to make today. Uh, it's the one thing that I actually do enjoy. And that's alcohol. Um, I'm just going to fuck this up. It's 2020. <laughs> My whole motto is for 2020 is going to be fuck it up, bucko. All over here is fucking eating, not even trying to help. So, <laughs> I don't know how you want me to help. So, uh, this whole recipe calls for crab legs and bacon. It's right after Christmas. I ain't got no money. Born on a budget. I'm just going to show you how to do this. I'm going to just fucking, I'm going to do it my own way, but I'm still going to, like, show my love to Mrs. Rosenthal. I need a, th what do I need? Two thirds of... Two thirds of tomato juice. It says clamato. I ain't never seen a clamato in the wild. Uh, so I grabbed tomato because I know tomato's gonna do what it needs to do. Uh, what else do I need? I need Worcestershire. I don't know about you. There's a bunch of different ways to call this Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Mistershire, who's your sister? I don't know what the hell it is. I'm just gonna throw a couple globs in there. I also is don't that like officially unit glob. Yeah, glob. <laughs> it's, it's glob, um, splat, and then pitch. All right, going down. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't really like Tabasco. I think it's the inferior of all the sauces, but I got my girl Cholula here. I love Cholula. Just Cholula. fucking absolutely going to throw that in there. I've got the Cholula um, shrimp. Yeah, I made the Cholula shrimp. The garnish here. Uh, I'm going to take some vodka. You know that meme where she's like, just a couple just a couple ounces, and she puts in like half the bottle? Two cups. Fucking, there we go. That's enough. That's not enough. Okay, hold on. You're trying to test me? There we go. Good. Apple. All right, cool. Uh, the recipe also does not call for blue cheese olives, but there is no way you're going to tell me that I'm going to make a Bloody Mary without blue cheese and without olives. So. It was pork patties here, too. Okay, wait a second. We'll get there in a minute. So most recipes call for maybe one, maybe two olives. If you're feeling extra bougie, maybe three. If I could get it out of the shot, there we go. But here uh, at Atomic Radio Hour, uh, I'm not fucking around. Simply, uh, I don't give a, a two goddamns. Maybe three, maybe I could get these out. Maybe it's just not meant to be. Shut up. 
Just <laughs> put so many olives in there. Uh, I want my little treat at the end. See, there you go. Hold on. And just to, you know, just for extra measure, just there we go. And you know what the best part about this is? When I'm done, I might feel the buzz and uh, I'm gonna be full. <laughs> How do you beat it? So, look, here, you know what? Just just for one for good luck, you know, the muzzle. <laughs> you know. Take some celery, mix it up a little bit. Fuck it, I'm gonna go for a third. Who cares? What else we need? Where's the black pepper? Ah, the so garlic salt. Because, of course, you need some sort of garlic and some sort of salt. Thank you. Black pepper. Uh, once you go black pepper, you never go back. Never. What are you, shrimp? Yeah, okay, fuck it. Watch. Just. It's a meal. It's a meal. It's an excuse to drink and to eat at the same time. There we go. Just push it in. There. Here. For you battling for your health. Right. So meal. So fucking steal a meal. What about the horseradish? A horseradish. Forgot about the horseradish. See, now I look silly. Thank you for pointing it out. Look. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. You only need a little bit. That's too much. Like half that. that that's really good. Yeah, there we go. Let's just fucking just cram it in. Cram it in like poop socks. <laughs> just get in there. Just all the way. All the way fucking up. Let's get a little. Homogenous. There we go. Alright. Mazel. I'm making another one, but I don't know what I just threw in here, so we'll have to all just share. Oh, wow. Is it good? Wow. It's spicy. You know what the best part about this is? I think it was Walt Whitman who created this. Yeah. Yeah. He said he wanted to drink the Bloody Mary that his wife uh, couldn't tell that he was drinking. And the best part about a drink like this is it's hearty, uh, it fills you up, and like... It's you the milkshake of alcohol. It is the milkshake of alcohol, but like anybody could drink it, from the captain of a ship to like a middle-aged soccer mom in a failing marriage. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. Damn, this is actually really fucking good. Try it. Certainly. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty fucking good. It's pretty fucking crazy. Yeah. Bentley? Oh, boy. That's just the madness. And I get shrimp. You're pretty good. Oh, I got spicy. Did you? In my throat. That's I mean, not bad. Radish. How good is that? Would you get that if you went out? No. Oh. I'm drink. Hmm? I'm drink. Neither do I. That's the beauty of it. Look, I got shrimp. You got celery, you got shrimp. You got celery, you got shrimp. I didn't find a wing in there. <laughs> the real recipe calls for bacon, crab legs. Oh, I didn't even throw lime or lemon in it. Oh, shit. We got a lemon. There, let me get a knife. Hook me up. What are you doing? There's a knife right there. Come on. You're a fucking... What are we calling the show? Time to cook an hour? We're all about one take. Hey. One take and two milks. One take, two minutes. Look, I don't even care if the seeds in it. Oh, that just went all over everything. Good. Oh, a little lemon, a little lime. It's gonna make it a tropical paradise meal. Yeah, we got avocado. We can make some guac. Get a little throw onion. some guac in there. Throw some guacamole in it. It's a kitchen sink drink. There's literally nothing you can't throw in a blood. Like, like name something right now. Name literally a birthday cake right on in. Uh, oh. I was gonna say chicken fingers, but you know that would go great. Uh, well, good thing, what do you call it? Kyle's not around. Yeah. He would want to throw cookies in it. Cookies that he stole, which, whatever. That's fine. I, it, it, we, I miss him every single day of my life. I miss him. Um, Poor Kyle. Look, I forgot we even threw olives in here. There's olives. How could you forget? There's like nine of them in there. I forgot. Yeah, it was like, let's take like a, a, a sip of the Newton Pro. Wow. 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 The acidity, the sweetness. Is your marriage failing? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, what's that? What's that? My husband's spending another night at the office with a receptionist? Oh my god, I think I'll have another. <laughs> tell me oh, tell me that out of 10 out of 10. Tell me, you can't even tell that there's alcohol in it now. That's dangerous. Ooh, the lime covers up the alcohol. Try this now. Yeah. 
Big sippy. Ooh. But definitely different taste, different with the lime and lime. You didn't even gag this time. <laughs> now I am. Get the throat. Fucking incredible. I can just like speed run through that. And you got a little surprise at the bottom. Yeah, like I said, more shrimp. I forgot I put shrimp in there. Do you understand? Like, do you understand how good of a drink this is? All right, I think it's I think it's time to move on. I'm getting too into this. <laughs> this is like almost like pornographic. How, how into this I am? <laughs> He's fucking up these commas and this Bloody Mary. Fuck. That's right, Benley. No. Yes, Benley. <sighs> Kyle's evil twin stepbrother, Benley. I'm Kyle. No, you're not. Yes, you're I am. Benley. You're Benley. No, not. Don't lie to me. You and I both know who you are. Back. You can't lie Don't to me. Don't send me back. It's me, sir. We can't. They need you. No. The Neo-Vietnam conflict. Oh, they back. need you. You're the only one. I stole those cookies you. for you. I understand, and that's why we need you. You're the only no. one, Kyle's evil stepbrother. We need you. Evil twin stepbrother, they need you for the, 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 the Neo-Vietnam conflict. Oh, go back. You need to go back. No. You have no choice. No. You have no choice. Atomic Radio Hour Podcast.